You already know what time it is. It is Sunday morning, which means we are going over to the 2024 NHL Entry Draft and continuing our series talking about the top prospects in the class. Today, we are heading over to the Regina Pats in the WHL to talk about a guy who's got a very intriguing name, a very intriguing profile, and a really good reason as to why you should be considering his name at the 2024 draft. Today, we are talking about none other than Connor Bedard's protege, Tanner Howe. Now, I get it. A lot of people are going to look at this name and say, oh yeah, he's a Howe. The Red Wings should get him. But believe me, there's a lot of reason to talk about Tanner Howe that extends beyond just his last name. Tanner Howe is a 5'11", 181, left-handed forward, 18 years old, November 2005 is the birth date, from Prince Albert, Saskatchewan in Canada. He has a consolidated ranking this year at the 36th overall spot. A bunch of scouting outlets have him in the first round, like Draft Prospects Hockey, who have him at 20, Smart Scouting, they have him at 27, TSN and Bob McKenzie have him at number 25, but then there are some other outlets like McKean's that have him a lot lower. They have him at number 64, then there are a bunch of other outlets that have him around the 35 to 37 range. Tanner Howe, for all intents and purposes, is going to be, let's say, a late first, early second round pick if you average out most of these projections. And when it comes to what teams could be getting out of this guy in the second round, here's what you could expect. Tanner Howe is the captain of the Regina Pats this season. He's got 77 points in 68 games played, which is actually a drop off from the 85 points that he had last year in 67 games played. Now, the thing is, you might be thinking to yourself, okay, well, he went from 69 points as an underage player to 85 points as a draft minus one to 77 points this year. What's up with that? Why is there hype for this guy if he has just declined? Well, the really obvious answer here is because the Regina Pats last year had one of the best players the WHL had ever seen. Some dude named Connor Bedard, whom you might have heard at at some point or another. He was a top-line player, franchise-defining, league-defining player in the WHL, and Tanner Howe was one of the players that really benefited a lot from Bedard's presence, not just in terms of point production, but in terms of lessons and leadership. In fact, there was an article published on NHL.com earlier this year talking about how Tanner Howe was using Connor Bedard as a role model. He followed his former Regina teammate as captain, developing into a top power forward prospect. There are some quotes that Tanner Howe has in this piece, which will be linked in the description. It was written by Mike Morial. I learned so much from Connor Bedard, Tanner Howe said. It was so cool to watch what he did each day and how he took care of his body. I think the biggest takeaway was just how hard he worked and how bad he wanted it. I mean, he's the best in the world for a reason. How he worked out and how he practiced, being the last guy off the ice, I've taken those habits into my game and how I do things around here, but it was so special to learn from a player like that. There was even a video done by the CHL, yeah, the entire Canadian Hockey League posted, I think two days ago, of Tanner Howe talking about how Connor Bedard was such a good mentor for him. And that was one of the big concerns heading into this year's WHL season. Okay, Connor Bedard, the best player in the gosh darn league, is going to be out. What is Tanner Howe going to do to bounce back? Is he going to be able to produce? Is he still going to be able to progress? He's going to be the captain now, so he's got big shoes to fill. And considering the fact that the Regina Pats are really not all too great this season, the fact that he's got 77 points in 68 games played is a pretty good sign. He has formed this team into his own, he is now the captain, and he's had to step up in a big way. And when you watch the tape, you'll see a lot of these skills. How Tanner Howe is a pretty nifty, really creative forward with a great shot. He's not the biggest guy in the world at only 5'11", but when you take a look at how this guy is able to rifle the puck on goal, how cheeky he is sometimes when he's in tight, there were a few goals he had scored internationally earlier this year where he's at the side of the goal and he's got such a tight angle on the goaltender, but then he just lifts it up and kind of goes off the back of the goalie's head and in. like. Tanner Howe has a really intriguing hockey mind, and a lot of this crease crashing, net front stuff happens to have been a result of the Connor Bedard treatment from last year. He was getting used to getting fed pucks in front. He knows how to finish in tight. If you think about what Zach Hyman is doing with Connor McDavid, Tanner Howe refined a lot of those same skills playing with Connor Bedard last year. 
this season, he's really started to use that defensive motor and his physicality to round out the rest of his offensive package. Let's go back over to the article on NHL.com. This is what John Williams of NHL Central Scouting said about Tanner Howe. You can see that he learned from watching and playing with Bedard. He's improved his skating over the past couple of seasons, and he can play with speed and pace. He also brings some grit, he can go to the net with purpose, and he is difficult to deny. I think I've gotten bigger and stronger, Tanner Howe said. I put in some hard work this summer and did things to try to make myself have a good year and be consistent. I think to get to the next level, you have to be an unreal skater, so I've been working at it. I'm more of a power forward. I like to get in the corners, throw my weight around, finish checks. I like that kind of Matthew Kachuk style of game, but mix in a little Patrice Bergeron because I feel like I'm a good 200-foot player. There's a more extended comment here by Brad Harof, who is in his first season as the Regina head coach. However, people view Brad Marchand, that's what I see in Tanner Howe. He's a guy that's got that fire, that competitiveness in his game. There's not many checks he won't finish, yet he's got that offensive touch to play up and down in the lineup in the top six. He has that scoring and playmaking ability to play with elite players. Not to mention the fact that he's won a lot of face-offs this season, and he has really solid defensive tendencies. This really is one of those guys that if he pans out to the NHL, and he becomes what he could be at his peak, you may be looking at a very solid, defensively-minded two-way guy playing somewhere in the middle six that maybe maxes out at like 50, 60 points a year. Sure, he is a little bit undersized, but the snarl that he plays with, not to mention the finishing ability, it all makes it kind of worth it. This is what the fantasy summary says for Tanner Howe on Dauber Prospects. Feisty, undersized winger with great hands, motor, and defensive ability. Refining his puck skills could land him in a middle six, two-way role. This scouting report was written by my buddy Hattie Kay. With solid skating, a high-end motor, and surprisingly good board battle mechanics, Tanner Howe always outworks his opponents along the boards. His puck skills need refining, but he should easily work his way into an NHL middle six in the near future. So heading into the next few years, Connor Bedard's protege is a player whom you should be keeping an eye out because Tanner Howe not only has that last name that makes him such an attractive option, but he's also got the profile to boot. Even if this guy's last name wasn't Howe, there still would be a really solid prospect here, especially when you consider the uniqueness of his path, how he's following in the footsteps of the former Regina Pats captain, and while it's probably unlikely that Tanner Howe has the same point production that Connor Bedard will ever have in the NHL, it is nice to know that a lot of those traits, the leadership, the mentorship that Connor Bedard instilled in the Regina Pats in 2022-2023, it's going to live through the actions and the play style of a guy like Tanner Howe. This was the Hyman to Bedard's McDavid. Now, heading into the 2024 NHL Draft, he's projected to being somewhat of a late first-round pick. If you're a Detroit Red Wings fan, what are your thoughts on the idea of landing a guy whose last name happens to be Howe on your team? If you're a fan of any other team that has had a Howe in the past, whether it be Sid or Travis or Mark, there are a bunch of Howes. Not all of them have been related, but this certainly is another one of those. Tanner Howe actually does have a brother who will be eligible for the 2020, oh boy, what is this, 2027 NHL entry draft, I'm pretty sure. So we'll see if the Howes can bring themselves an NHL package heading into the next few years. But for now, Tanner is the available player in 2024. If you're a fan of the prospects, if you're a fan of the Pats, if you're a fan of the WHL, what are your thoughts on this guy, and how do you think he stacks up compared to the other WHL-eligible 2024 prospects? Just because we have a few extra minutes here in this video, let's go out there and take a look. So, we'll look at WHL leagues, and we'll see where some of the top draft eligible players are. So Tanner Howe did not have the same point production as guys near the very top, like Berkeley Catton or Tarek Parasak. But he is around that same point production range as guys like Tija Ginla, Miguel Marquez, and a few other guys. Now, of course, it's kind of noteworthy because, yeah, Tija Ginla could be a top 10 pick, Berkeley Catton. Tons of production out of him, we talked about him last week. But Tanner Howe is playing on one of the worst teams in the WHL this season, so I think that does have to show for something at the very least. But either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Connor Bedard's protege Tanner Howe and whether or not you think this is a worthy draft pick for your team in the 2024 NHL Entry Draft. I hope you enjoyed this video. Ash Rolls 99 and bye.